I'm Jill Hunter, Harbour's Beef and Sheep Nutritionist, and I'm going to run through the different stages of the suckler, calf and lamb production cycle, which are key to animal performance, efficiency, sustainability and enterprise profitability. To maintain our place in a demanding supply chain, we are increasingly being encouraged and tasked to improve our efficiency and reduce our carbon footprint. This can be a challenge, however, small improvements here and there begin to add up, especially if we break it down into the smaller sections of the production cycle. There is no silver bullet when it comes to improving on-farm environmental credentials, and sometimes we are inclined to think, what's in it for me? In fact, it is well documented, any improvement which is positive environmentally also has a positive impact on enterprise profitability, which is the ultimate goal. Animals which spend less days on farm tend to result in a lower environmental impact and increased profit margin, simply because there are fewer inputs assigned to maintenance. First, we have to think about creep feeding. Young calves and lambs alike have an inbuilt feed efficiency, which should be utilised to its fullest. Creep feeding is an exceptionally good way of capturing the benefits of this natural inbuilt feed efficiency in young animals. As soon as lambs and calves start to grow, feed efficiency begins to reduce, simply because a bigger body size results in a higher maintenance requirement. For example, a young lamb is likely to need half as much feed to achieve the same live weight gain as an older one. This means creep feeding should be implemented as quickly as possible and continue throughout the summer. Creep feeding has the additional benefit of taking pressure off the ewes, letting them regain body condition on the forage available to them. We are aware that body condition post lambing and throughout the summer has a knock-on effect to the number of lambs she produces the following season. Equally, cows will be under pressure to get into a rising plane of nutrition in order to become into season and to hold to the bull. Another benefit to creep feeding is to reduce that stress and impact of the weaning stage. Uh, this is because the diet only has milk removed rather than a complete overhaul of the entire diet. A growth check at the weaning stage will have a negative impact on meat quality as well as the performance and profitability of the affected animals. Next we consider the growing diets. Growing diets are usually forage based and contain a token amount of concentrate offered to match the performance desired. I'd always recommend you get your silage tested and a diet formulated to make sure you maximise the use of your forage which you've spent all summer growing. Finishing diets complete the production cycle. Right across the country there are many different finishing systems from grazing, forage crops, forage based diets to grain systems. All of these can work perfectly well when they're managed correctly. As a nutritionist the most important consideration in the finishing period is always rumen health and we should take every opportunity to make sure the rumen is functioning as well as it can be. Things like transitioning new animals onto finishing diets gradually, minimal changes to diets throughout the finishing period, feeding rumen friendly feeds like maximum treated cereals and a good source of fibre, consider using a buffer especially when transitioning from old season to new season grain. All of these things will help maintain rumen health which ultimately will boost performance. We also take regular benchmarks with our customers so we actually know what current performance is, not just what we think the cattle or lambs are doing. From this we can look at suggested diet changes and model expected outcomes, allowing customers to make informed and practical decisions. Finally, it's worth considering how RumiTech can fit into this production cycle. RumiTech is a unique carbon trust assured additive which is, we've shown to increase feed efficiency by 10%, meaning you get the same performance with 10% less feed. Rumitech comes in standard across our range of powdered minerals, protein concentrates and compounded feeds, which means you can increase your feed efficiency across all your young stock with minimal effort. Also, recent trials show that animals fed Rumitech laid down a greater loin eye muscle area, which benefits both commercial and pedigree producers alike. Rumitech works very simply by altering the microbes in the rumen. We get less of the microbes which produce methane, meaning less methane is produced and less energy used to belch out that methane. This is a big tick for sustainability. We also get more of the rumen microbes which digest forage, resulting in better fibre utilisation so there's more energy available to the animal. Combined, this results in animals not eating as much feed to consume the same amount of energy, which results in improvement in feed conversion ratio and a reduced cost per kilo gain. So to summarise, nutrition, management and genetics all have equal roles to play in animal performance. However, the investment in quality feed Good advice and roomy tech will all pay dividends when it comes to the efficiency and profitability of your herd or flock, while also boosting the environmental credentials of your business, which will inevitably become more of a focus in the future.
Finally, from everybody here at Harborough, we'd just like to wish all of our customers a safe and successful Highland Showcase.